Earth, the home of humankind for eons. Humans have adapted well on planet Earth. We're the dominant species. We've conquered the wild beasts, built incredible dwelling places, cities, countries. We've even touched other planets. Yet the greatest threat to survival is so small that it's invisible to the naked eye, an enemy that is relentless and even changes its tactics, even its very form. There's a definite connection between human health and soil removal, and it's clear that most restrooms today pose a very real threat to building occupants. The restroom is probably the most dangerous area in a public building. In reality, it's a biohazardous waste transfer station. More bluntly, it's the place where biological waste is transferred from the human digestive tract to the sanitary sewer system. Unfortunately, this transfer is not always sanitary or effective. Too often, there are accidents, spills, drips of urine, feces, vomit, blood, and other bodily fluids. Plus, every flush of the toilet creates an aerosol of potentially biohazardous particles, including E. coli, Shigella, and other fecal toxins. This phenomena, which is sometimes referred to as the toilet sneeze, broadcasts aerosolized particles into the air, which eventually settle on the surrounding surfaces, including walls, dispensers, and even the floor. By far, the most plentiful biopollutant in the restroom is urine, typically concentrated around urinals and toilets. This normally sterile urine becomes a very rich food source for odor and disease-causing bacteria, in particular E. coli. This is probably why studies show that floors have the highest counts of E. coli of all surfaces in the restroom. So, how do these harmful microbes make us sick? Well, they first must find their way into our bodies. This is commonly accomplished through the fecal-oral transfer, literally hands to mouth, nose and eyes. Hands can be contaminated by coming in contact with static transfer points, such as dispensers, faucets, door handles, even desktops. In addition, any object that comes in contact with a contaminated surface becomes a disease transfer point and is referred to as a fomite. The most practical defense we have against these invisible microbes is effective cleaning and proper hygiene. With all the problems in the public restroom, it's important that we go beyond simply cleaning for appearance to cleaning for health. The vast majority of restrooms today are cleaned with a traditional string mop. However, there are some inherent problems with mopping, problems that can compromise health. First, to save time and reduce slipfall accidents, most restrooms are damp mopped which typically involves a single pass with a very small amount of cleaning solution. This thin film of solution is insufficient to remove, emulsify, or disinfect the soils on the floor. Besides, as soon as the dirty mop is wrung or dipped into the bucket, the solution becomes contaminated. So essentially, the floor is being cleaned with contaminated solution that is simply spreading around. On a tiled floor, the issue is even more complicated. Because of the rough surface texture of grout, mops just can't pull matter out of the grout line effectively. Soils and biopollutants that have been absorbed by the porous grout have little chance of ever being removed. Plus, during mopping, the grout line actually squeegees the soils and soap scum from the mop's fibers. This is why even newly constructed restrooms 
often exhibit the telltale symptoms of decline and chronic contamination, like stained, darkened grout lines and obnoxious odors. In fact, lingering stubborn odors are actually evidence of ongoing bacterial activity. The good news is that dangerous biopollutants are relatively easy to remove and dispose of properly with the right cleaning technique. One such method is no-touch cleaning from Kyvac. Designed to remove the maximum amount of unwanted matter, a no-touch cleaning system combines automatic chemical metering and injection, an indoor pressure washer, and a powerful wet vacuum into a single integrated system. Its ultimate purpose is to decontaminate the biohazardous waste transfer station. To begin, the operator applies automatically diluted cleaning solution to fixtures and floors in a low pressure fan spray. As the liquid cleaning solution dwells, it loosens and lifts soils in preparation for vacuum extraction. In addition, the fluid brings residual dehydrated soils, such as dried urine, into liquid solution. Next, the operator pressure rinses the target surfaces with fresh water, power rinsing hard to reach areas such as seat hinges, behind toilets, and so on, carrying contaminants to the floor in a current of water. The power of the indoor pressure washer is ideal for attacking accumulated matter without harming surfaces or personnel. If necessary, the operator can manually brush problem spots to further loosen soils. Then, the operator suctions all liquids and contaminants from the floor with the built-in wet vacuum. This high-flow fluid extraction process creates a liquid current that transports the unwanted matter into a recovery tank where it's contained and quarantined. The vacuum also leaves the floor clean and dry and ready for use. The drying action also inhibits bacterial growth. Recent studies confirm that all cleaning methods do not produce the same results. A comparison was made between traditional mops, flat mops, and the Kyvac no-touch cleaning process, measuring soil and bacterial removal in grout lines. The results showed that traditional and flat mops left 35 times, that's 3,500 percent, more soil and bacteria behind than no-touch cleaning. Considering the definite connection between human health and soil removal, it's really important that these areas be cleaned completely and properly to remove the harmful biological hazards and to reduce the risk of disease. Do you want to find out how effective your cleaning program is? Start measuring. Measurement technologies are now available that can help you instantly quantify the effectiveness of your cleaning program. For example, Handheld ATP meters rapidly measure the amount of biopollutants on virtually any surface, including floors, sink handles, toilets, dispensers, desktops, and so on. The easy-to-use palm-sized devices specifically detect and quantify the level of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, the universal energy molecule found in all animal, plant, bacteria, yeast, and mold cells. These innovative instruments are commonly used in a number of other industries, including healthcare and food processing, to ensure health through proper sanitation. With ATP monitoring, it's now possible to establish a quantifiable standard of hygiene that defines when a surface is really clean for different areas throughout your building. Another measurement tool, Kyvac's Bio Waste Detection Kit, offers a simple, cost-effective way to scientifically measure the amount of urine soil left behind in grout lines after cleaning. Effective cleaning, proper hand washing, prudent use of disinfectants, all these are our best offense in our war against the unseen world. With proper cleaning techniques and routine measurement, walking into a restroom can be a safe, healthy experience.